Hi, this is Vanessa from Degania Aromatics, natural products for spirit, soul, and body, and welcome. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how I make my elderberry goat's milk confetti soaps. So let's get started. In my pot, I have my oils were melted, and I have a little bit of ROE, or rosemary antioxidant. Here, kind of sweating. Here I have my a strong elderberry tea, and included in the elderberry tea, the tea has, has been strained from the berries, so there's no little loose things running around. I have my sugar. Here I have my essential oils. With my essential oils, I am using clary sage, cypress, lavendula or lavender, and I'm use, using sweet orange. Also with this, I have my arrowroot powder and a little bit of um, castor oil, which I extracted from my master batch. Here I am using um, corn corn silk powder. I, I decided not to use tussa silk. I wanted corn silk because I thought it would blend really good with the elderberry because it's dark. And here I have my goat's milk shreds. This is a goat milk soap that I made that I didn't like the way it came out. Um, and But the soap felt good, but the problem I had was um, it came out so lopsided. About time I got through shredding the soap, there was almost no nothing left in the, uh, well actually, about time I finished bubbling the soap, it was all icky, so I don't like it, so I decided to make a um, confetti soap out of it. So, to get started, I am going to blend my corn silk in, corn silk in with my um, with my oils. Just a, just a FYI here, temperature. We're looking at a temperature on my oils at 99, temperature on my lye at 93. So it's good. It's a good match there. Adding in the corn silk powder. Now I'm going to add my lye to the formula, to the to the oils. Slowly add my lye. Elderberries, um, as a tea, has a great, wonderful, wonderful fragrance. I love elderberries. Put this on the side. And let's get this as a little stir. Now I am going to stick blend. I want to just get this just a point of emulsion where there's no separation between oil and rock. This is good. Now I am going to hand stir in your oils. Okay. 
as you can see, I'm just going to show you this. I got to stir it a little bit more because mm, the arrowroot powder has settled at the bottom. So let's get it stirred really good. I think I got it. And what I want to do, I want to pour out off about, um, let me see. This is a big container here. little just here I'm going to separate so I can pour it at the bottom of the mold right I'm going to put a, a little bit of the essential oil here for the bottom I'm going to stir it up and I'm going to put the rest of the oil here Blend this in here. Well, I'm using my stick blender for this. I'm adding, I separated the the wet soap. I'm just gonna stick blend for a minute. Just one little stick blend. going to be the bottom layer of the mold. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oops, get stuck. Okay. Here I am using this outside for a second. I am using a six pound mold, a toilet mold, and I'm going to just pour this in at the bottom. See if I can get it even. Just wanted a thin layer here. Oops. Did not want to get any on the side. Top one temporarily until I put it aside. Now I'm going to incorporate my in here. Hopefully, it's getting thick really fast. I did do a slight discount in here. It's okay. And then we're going to add in our. As I continue to stir the fragrance, I'm adding in the confetti. Oops.
and we are ready to pour. I am using a, a discount, a water discount, so that's why the soap is moving really fast. So, let's see here. It's already gotten thick here. Just wanted to kind of make some indentations in here. So when the confetti's in the soap and the con so when the so when you look at the soap, it just has some um just a little bit of stuff here. Just some dips and some dabs. And now it's time to begin the pour. And hopefully, let me just do it like this first. Let me just. Let me see if I can smooth this out now. And let me see what I can do in, in smoothing this out. Oh, that color is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. And clean off of my, see if we can clean it off just a little bit around here. I'm gonna tap it one more time, a couple more times. Sorry, trying to make sure there's no air bubbles there. Let me just see something. I'm gonna try something real quick. Okay, let me see. Can I make, it's not quite ready yet. Hmm. Let me see if I can, I can't help it. I like playing with the soap. So, let me see if I can do anything here. Even though, 
yeah, you know. I think this one's going to make an interesting top. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Cool. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol on top and we will be finished. So, the soap is finished. It's a six pounder. Hopefully I got all of, I see a one, see another, I do see a couple of uh, air holes, but um, overall, I'm liking this. This soap will stay in the mold two to three days. I'll show you the cut when I'm finished. This is Vanessa from Degania Aromatics, natural products for spirit, soul, and body. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.